to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take up arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing them, end them. To die, and to sleep, no more, and by a sleep to say we end the heartache and a thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. There's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause and there's the respect that makes calamity of so long a life for who would bear the whips and scorns of time the oppressor's wrong the proud man's contumely the pangs of despised love the law's delay insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietest make with a bare bodkin. Who would bottles bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life? But the dread of something after death, that undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns puzzles the will and makes us rather bear the ills we have than to fly to others we know not of thus conscience does make cowards of us all and thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied over with the pale cast of thought great pitch and moment with this regard their currents turn awry lose the name of action soft you now fair feel you nymph in thy orisons be all my sins remembered. <laughs>